Welcome to Extraterrestrial Reality. A week ago today, allegedly four UFOs, triangular shaped, showed up over a naval base in Argentina and uh, a battle uh, erupted between forces at the naval base and the UFOs. The UFO, one of the UFOs apparently uh, was shooting out a laser that injured at least two soldiers, according to sources. Anyway, the military uh, in Argentina completely denies all of this, although there is evidence that shows that something definitely was going on there that evening. Uh, anyway, we're going to get into this story. Um, here was an, there was some different articles uh, that are you could find on the internet. Uh, actually, this was uh, one of my followers, Leonardo. Thank you very much, Leonardo, for uh, alerting me to this story. Uh, he provided me with some information. This, uh, it's, there are some people on Reddit talking about this, and also there's a couple of articles. And there was a YouTube video uh, by a UFO researcher uh, that I will also talk about. But anyway, it's, uh, the, here's from Pagina12, and the, and the headline reads, From fake news to the official explanation, what happened at the Bahia Blanca naval base? Now, before I get, in with this, get into this article, I just want to let you know that uh, I translated this article from... Spanish to English, so there's going to be some things, of course, uh, when you do this online, it's not going to read correctly. Uh, this, there are things lost in translation. Uh, and also, this first article that I'm going to talk about seems more pro-military. Uh, it seems like they're pre completely buying, towing the, the, the military line that absolutely nothing happened here, move on, there's nothing to see here. Uh, but then there's another article we're going to get into uh, that's a little bit different. Anyway, uh, it says here, several videos and audios circulated on social networks talking about a confrontation between Navy officers and unidentified flying objects. This week, a video and several rumors were dis disseminated that pointed to a confrontation of soldiers with UFOs at the Comandante Espora Naval Air Base of the Argentine Navy located in Villa Espora. 11 kilometers from the center of Bahia Bianca. However, official sources confirmed that it was a helicopter training and no ammunition was used. Last Tuesday, several residents of the city of Bahia Bianca and surroundings began to viralize audios and videos through WhatsApp and social networks about alleged shots that came from the Comandante Espora base. However, official sources of the Navy reported that there was only one training flight of a helicopter and denied the use of ammunition in the exercise. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to play a video here. Now, this video, uh, uh, there were some videos I found online on Twitter and some other uh, sources. Uh, the first video I'm going to show you is uh, f there was a surveillance camera set up over a property near where this happened and there were dogs in a fenced in area and, and the dogs are going crazy and meanwhile while you hear in the background explosions and, and machine gun fire. So here you go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
okay so there's that right there's that video now here is another video uh, that was filmed with a cell phone where there's some residents they're standing uh in the dark and you could hear in the distance you know, all this explosions and and machine gun fire again so at the, around and this was at the same time that at that that surveillance ca uh, camera footage was was uh captured <laughs> Explotó algo, chica. ¿No serán los polvorines? ¿No hay polvorines acá? ¿Qué son polvorines? De, de acá, de la base. No, qué cagazo que me di. Mira, así está volando. ¿No será de, de la base? No, me estás jodiendo. Mira, mira cómo huele eso. No, eso no puede llegar a sacar nada, ¿no? ¿Eh? No, pero. Pero ¿por qué están tirando tiro en la base? No, hay algo que agarró fuego, que está explotando el presidio. So now military officials in Argentina, uh, they're saying that this is uh, fake. Uh, that's what they're saying. Even though you heard those, I mean, you can see the people walking around in that second video. You can hear the, 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 the patter of the machine guns going off. I mean, so something apparently was going on there, but the military officials are saying this is fake. But anyway, let's uh, continue with this article. It says, during the afternoon night of yesterday, scheduled training activities were carried out, which involved flights in the area of Espora, a unit belonging to the 2nd Naval Air Helicopter Squadron of the Sea King type, made a flight established in the annual training plan. The training activity took place between 19.50 p.m. and 22.30 p.m. on Tuesday the 5th and did not involve the use of ammunition of any caliber, the military reported. Uh, and then there's a subhead here. It says, UFOs are fake news. After the video spread through social networks, ufologists began to theorize that this event was a confrontation of military personnel against unidentified flying objects. However, official for sources said that the videos and audios of the alleged shootings were an edit, and those noises and images did not correspond to the place and that no type of drill was being carried out. Uh, it's an addition. I don't know what with what with, with what intentions. The people at the airport and the representatives of the airport security did not see anything. And at the base, they are still sleeping, except for who is piloting the helicopter, it was officially stated. Likewise, local police officers had to go to the area of the base because complaints were registered from the area of Porto del Este, Grunbein, Pago Chico, and Espora for alleged shooting. So the police, let me just stop there for a second. So obviously what it's saying here, the police were actually contacted that night and said, hey, there's something going on. And so you know, if it was a hoax, it was a whole bunch of people playing it. Uh, continuing here, it says, finally, police and airport sources told Nueva that nothing that circulated on social media was true. In fact, they did confirm the presence of a helicopter that was performing scheduled maneuvers within the framework of a flight plan. In that sense, they explained that it is a tour that is normally done at that time. Okay, so they're pretty much the military is denying uh, that any of this shooting was real. Uh, but here is another article in La Nueva that talks about this. Uh, and uh, it says, uh, The Commission of Studies of the UFO Phenomenon in Argentina is already investigating the case and requesting access to radars so that it is known what flew over the sky of Bahia last Tuesday. Two soldiers are believed to have been wounded by one of the ships. Uh, it says here, the number of shots and explosions that neighbors heard last Tuesday at the Comandante Espora base, which for the moment was denied by military authorities, could have a beginning of explanation or, or hypothesis that seems incredible. At this time, the Commission of Studies of the UFO Phenomenon in Argentina claims to have received information that that night four unidentified flying objects, UFOs, flew over the base and that they were seen by military personnel who responded and faced the shots with the ships. Now, Andrea Perez Simondini, uh, she's the head of the organization that investigates ufology in the country, comments here. And she also has a video that she put together 
Uh, she's speaking in Spanish, so if you're gonna, I'll, I'll leave the link for that video as well. So if you want to check it out, you could you could watch it, but make sure if you don't speak Spanish, uh, you could uh, switch the uh, closed captions controls on YouTube, and you could have it translated from Spanish into English the closed captions, and you could check it out that way, which which is what I did. Anyway, she says here. We received information that the four UFOs came to a spore from the sea, that one landed on a place where ammunition is housed, another on a fort, and the other two, a little further away, perched on the bah Bahinian sky as if guarding all the action. Uh, she, uh, Simon, it says he confirmed, but it's actually she, she confirmed, Andrea Perez Simondini, head of the organization that investigates ufology in Argentina. They also told us <clears throat> that the objects were black, triangular in shape, and that one that was landing on the fort fired with a kind of laser that wounded two or three soldiers. In fact, we are asking for information from hospitals and the Institute of Social Work of the Armed Forces to know if people with any type of wound or burns were admitted, she added. Although the first information is not entirely clear, the agency has already formally requested access to radars from different airports to see what flights there were over our city that night and thus be able to move forward, forward with the investigation. Uh, Sephora personnel will arrive in the city at this time to talk with the neighbors who filmed and made known through social networks the shooting inside the base and other witnesses of the fact. Base sources consulted by La Nueva last Tuesday, they denied any incident and said the videos and audios of neighbors that circulated that night were an edit to create false news. They also alluded that, quote, the noises and images did not correspond to the place, end quote, and that no type of drill was being carried out either. Uh, it is an addition. I already read that quote. That was from the other article. It says here, shortly before uh, 21 p.m. on September 5th, audios and videos began to go viral on WhatsApp, and the authorities consulted had no official information about what was happening. In the video it, to which this newspaper had access, several people are heard frightened by those explosions. What is that? A young woman heard is heard asking. Someone exploded. Isn't the isn't the base isn't isn't it the base's powder kegs? Asked the second woman. Uh, at all times, while the talk lasts and the camera pointed toward the darkness, trying to focus on an illuminated sector in the distance, machine guns, explosions, and shots of different calibers were heard. Even at one point, there is talking of explosion and that something caught fire. They're throwing explosions, they claimed, exclaimed, frightened. So you have that. So we have that. So they're saying you have some people, the people that live near, near this base are saying that, uh, uh, yeah, there's, there's, uh, that something was going on and you have ufo investigators that were talking to some people at the base military officials apparently personnel military personnel that are that were telling them privately obviously that uh, uh there were four triangular craft that showed up uh and one of them was shooting out laser beams and uh hit, hit two or three soldiers uh so well, we don't know what's going on here yet this story is still unfolding and of course uh, the military denies anything and denies that there was any ammunition fired at all uh, and that there was no exercises going on. So what do you believe? Now, why would all these people uh, come up with a giant hoax like this and post all these videos all over the place? Why would they do that? Uh, but anyway, there was. A, if you watch that uh, the video that I'm going to, I'll leave the link for it here, uh, and that's that UFO researcher from Argentina, Andrea Perez Simondini. Uh, she says, uh, at one point she had, she plays a, uh, a little section from there's a local airport near there and uh, Carlos Millian the airport chief seems to say that he uh, he acknowledged that there was uh, firefighting going on uh, again there's these I'm not really clear on this but that's what it seemed like to me when I watched her video on this I mean you could hear a voice talking and she has a picture of this airport chief and and basically he was confirming that there was uh, firefighting going on but again it's all still unfolding so we, we're gonna have to get uh, more information on this one um, but, uh, you know, this reminds me of, uh, you know, I, I remember, I, you know, I, I guess it was earlier this year or last year when uh, there was a new a Missing 411, the UFO Connection uh, documentary, and uh, the David Politis, the former police officer who did investigations into people missing. And in this movie, this documentary was focused on the uh, possibility that some people who go missing are basically abducted permanently by extraterrestrials. He was talking with uh, John D'Souza, who was a retired FBI agent, and uh, uh, in the one section of that uh, of that uh, video of that movie, 
Politis says, you know, he makes a statement that when he was younger, he was told, uh, he said he was talking to a, another officer and he said that our government uh, will never acknowledge what it can't control. And D'Souza agreed with, he asked D'Souza, do you agree with that? He goes, yes. D'Souza said, yes, he, it's never going to acknowledge what it can't control or uh, even if it does, even if it uh, believes it can't control it. And that's what's going. I, I think. I mean, no matter which country you're in, right? Argentina, United States, you know, you know, the UK, wherever you are, uh, your military officials are just not going to acknowledge this. The officials that you put in charge to uh, take care of you, to protect your country, uh, they're just not going to admit uh, to this kind of stuff. And they, that could be the case here. We don't know. More information needs to come out about this. I don't know for sure if this was okay. For one, one thing, we have to ask. You have to ask yourself some questions here. Uh, I mean, there was, they're saying there were four triangular UFOs. Are they uh, UFOs from another country? Are these, were these flying objects from another country, maybe? Uh, were they extraterrestrial? We have no idea. Is it even true? We don't know yet. We need, that's why there's investigations uh, required here. Uh, hopefully, we get some more information as time goes, goes on. Uh, but it will, it, I've never heard of something like this where UFO, three, four UFOs showed up, two of them basically land, and two, two of them are hovering in the sky as basically watching over the action, right? And one of them that's sh sh shooting out lasers at, at, at some of the soldiers. I mean, this sounds like something right out of a 50s science fiction movie like Earth versus the Flying Saucers or War of the Worlds or something like that. That's what it sounds like. I mean, but we, I mean, you heard the video. You, you, are those videos real? I mean, I... Why would all the why would a whole bunch of residents in, that are, live near this base all decide all of a sudden, hey, let's make up a big story? All these people saw this. I mean, if the, the UFO investigators were talking to uh, multiple people there, and they all saying the same thing, yeah, there was explosions, there was gunfire. You have, the, but then you have the the commander at the naval base saying, nothing, nothing, nothing happened here, nothing to see here. Next question. They're lying. It's all an edit. It was an edit. It's a fake news. Don't worry about it. Now go on home. Go to bed. Nothing to see here. You know, and this this all perfect. You know, in a way, this uh, this this all could seg into uh, what I want to talk about next here. Uh, you know, there was an article recently. I talk about the uh, uh, Liberation Times, and it just happens on September 11th, yesterday. Uh, an article appeared in Liberation Times, which, which is uh, one of the best places to to read about what's going on in Washington and and the UFO the effort to. Uh, push for ufo disclosure uh, christopher sharp is the writer for this website liberation times and he has a new article here and it's called ufos have broken into america's backyard and no one is effectively coordinating any response yes uh, and i think that 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 whole concept is is that could possibly be at play right now in argentina uh as we know many times i'm not going to read this entire article but i will leave the link for it so you can check it out for yourself but there is one part of the article i do want to read uh but as we know uh how many times throughout the years uh you know things happen and then it's denied i mean basically if you go back to 1952 when there was uh, ufos were seen flying over washington dc you know, jets were dispatched to try to chase them down and nothing happened. They couldn't catch up with them. The UFOs were playing games with them over the course of a week, basically. This was going on. Uh, flying over the White House, flying over the Capitol. UFOs were seen. They were seen on radar. They were seen visually. Uh, but yet then we get, oh, no, it was uh, atmospheric phenomenon. That's all it was. Nothing to worry about. Uh, forget about it. Like we're lied to all the time like we're a bunch of children. Uh, and that's what it's, I, I think what it is, like I've talked about many times before, is that they just they can't control it just like politis and john de souza say yes there's the i mean what they cannot uh, they, they'll never acknowledge what they cannot control and that's one of the issues going on here behind the scenes of course the reverse engineering aspect too uh, but anyway there was one part of this article it says here liberation times is also aware of an instance next to Vandenberg, Vandenberg Air Force, now Space Force Base, in 2012, after a giant ball of plasma was witnessed over the coast. According to a, the United States Air Force witness, two senior officers were summoned to observe the event. Their reaction, according to the witness, they looked at it, said it was weird, and didn't know what it was. There was then a brief silence before they just left. 
there need there now needs to be consistent uh, there now needs to be a consistent approach and the correct way ahead is reforming the US sky that how US skies are protected the current situation is unsustainable much like a pre 911 world where intelligence agencies were not coordinating coordinating effectively now I'm not going to read this whole article again this is a very in-depth article I, I highly recommend that you check it out uh, it's a great website but I thought it was interesting, you know, to hear this story that basically they saw this giant ball flowing out there. Oh, that's pretty neat. Then they just look at it and walk away like it's nothing. Nothing gets done about it. what? Because what could they do? I mean, look what happened. I mean, ever since Project Blue Book closed down in 1969, you know, people see UFOs sometimes. You know, there's a giant UFO hovering over my house. It's sucking out the electrical. Uh, uh, seems like it's sucking out electricity from from some power lines here. And uh, what, what you know, I'm just calling up, calling you up the Air Force here to let you know you better check this out. And the Air Force response is, uh, that's uh, UFOs. Well, we don't investigate UFOs anymore. Uh, call your local police. Like, what is the local police going to do? Basically, what's happened here, it seems, is that a long time ago, for the most part, as far as civilians are concerned, uh, the military, militaries of the world, apparently, they don't care. Uh, they can't do anything. So what are they going to do? There's a UFO flying over your house, right? What are they going to do? There's nothing they could do. They've learned their lesson, apparently, decades and decades ago over the course of time. You know, whether they send out their fighter jets and some of them don't return or they, the UFOs just take off and there's nothing they could do anyway. So that's what that's what it seems like is happening here. Like nobody, like in the militaries, they look at these kind of things uh, and, and they don't respond because there's nothing they can do. And and, you're, and they tell you to call your local police. But I, I, I pointed out this before. If, say it was Chinese fighter jets or Russian fi fighter jets flying over some city and, and you made that phone call. I'm sure they would, would respond to that. But hey, some, something circular in the sky that's making no sound, call your local police. That's, that, yeah, how could you not see this? I mean, there's people out there who don't who don't believe that there's a cover up and that uh, that there is an extraterrestrial presence here. But then why is that the case? If people call up and there's there's objects floating over their town and the Air Force says, hey, contact the police. What does that tell you? That tells you that they have no power over them. Now, in cases where they actually go into military bases like this in Argentina and, and there's multiple cases where they're f hovering over uh, United States naval vessels and like from 2019 right or the or like the the 2004 uh, nimitz encounter the 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 tic tac all of that kind of stuff they'll, they'll respond though then when it's when they're when these objects are getting close to their uh to our military sites or or, or our vessels or whatever they'll respond then but as far as civilians are concerned they don't really care now of course sometimes you know you come out you, some people you hear stories where people are you know fishing at a lake somewhere and they see a ufo right and then the ufo takes off and next thing you know four fighter jets come flying through yeah they track them sometimes but they'll, they'll, they'll act on their own accord but, they'll, but when it comes to civilians acting for for uh, civilians it seems like they don't really care like there's nothing because they know there's nothing we can do but i mean if this turns out in argentina to be something and it might. I mean, again, I don't know. I don't think there's enough information here to say one way or another. Uh, but it, it does seem it's very compelling. I mean, at the very least, it's very compelling, right? I mean, there are obviously. Uh, uh, the, the, I mean, you hear the videos. You could hear the sounds of the of the firefight, right? You could hear the machine guns. You could hear the explosions. Something was going on, but then they're denying it. Why would they deny it? And we're, and who are these people that are talking to UFO investigators from the military insiders saying, "Hey, yeah, you're." four triangular craft here one of them was shooting laser beams and two guys got shot are these just people just making stuff up like why would they do that see we we have no we we have to just learn to live with this stuff i guess because i don't know see how how could you do do battle with beings that could be potentially a million years more advanced i mean it doesn't right it doesn't make much sense now again this maybe for all we know those triangles were reverse engineered craft or or maybe some of the best technology uh, some country has developed to this point and that's what it was who knows we don't know could be uh, it could be just it could be something that's man-made we don't know and why were they there why was it why was this happening i mean for what purpose to what end uh it doesn't make any sense uh, none of it does uh but maybe we'll get some more answers as time goes on uh, but anyway, I want to go to uh, uh, some recent uh, some of the recent Spotify polls and uh, talk about the results thus far. Okay, we're going to go back a few episodes here. Um, okay, we're going to go to country singers, incredible ET, and men in black encounters in 1975. 
And uh, for that episode, I asked the question, who or what were the men in black who visited Johnny Sands? So, so far, I've received 46 votes on this one with 23 days left. Uh, zero say nothing. Or, uh, if Nobody says nothing or a hoax. Everyone believes it was something going on there, that this guy wasn't making it up. Uh, three people... Uh, say six point or six point five percent say hallucinations. Well, some people think that Johnny Sands was having a hallucination. Uh, four people or eight point seven percent say other, whatever other is. I don't know. Uh, Sixteen people or thirty four point eight percent say government agents, while twenty three people or fifty percent say it was extraterrestrials. Uh, I believe the Johnny Sands story was true. I think it was an extraterrestrial encounter, and I believe that the. Uh, at least some of the men in black that uh, appeared after the afterward in the aftermath, I think I believe that they were either extraterrestrial or being controlled by extraterrestrials. That's uh, what I get out of that story. Uh, so I, I would agree with the majority on that one. Okay, and then uh, for the uh, episode, the deeper implications of Aaron Rodgers' giant UFO sighting. Well, unfortunately, Aaron Rodgers, he was a new uh, the new quarterback for the Jets. He got injured on the fourth play last night, and he looks like he's... Uh, seriously injured so that's a shame but anyway it says here i asked this question do you believe it's possible that an extraterrestrial intelligence in infiltrated segments of world governments to control the ufo narrative 19 or 22.1 percent say no while 67 or 77.9 percent say yes i think it's highly possible yes i mean we've talked about this uh i think it is possible i think that uh, uh that it could be. That could be the reason why we're not getting the answers that we want. It could partially be that reason. Uh, I don't know. I, I think, but that's, that could have something to do with it. I, I do believe that. Okay, for the episode, Meet the Mysterious Mr. Janus, Observer from Another World. I asked this question. Who or what was Mr. Janus? Uh, I've received 58 votes so far. There's 25 days left. Uh, three people, or 5.2%, say Emissary of God. Uh, okay. Five people or 8.6% say fictional invention. So basically they're saying, uh, that Horsley, Peter, Sir Peter Horsley, who told this story of this meeting with this apparent extraterrestrial named Mr. Janus, that he made it all up. So, uh, five people are saying it's a fictional invention. Uh, nine people or 15.5% say it was a hoaxer that this guy, uh, that uh, Mr. Janus, and maybe he was some LARP. Or something to that effect, and it was just playing a game with uh, Peter Horsley. So that's what they believe, which could be possible. A lot, of, all of these things could be possible, actually. Uh, Ten people, or seventeen point two percent, say it was a secret agent. Uh, could be. I don't agree. I don't believe that, but uh, could be. I guess you just never know. Uh, we'll never know. Uh, and then thirty-one people, or fifty-three point four percent, say extraterrestrial. Could be extraterrestrial, Mister Janus could have been an observer from another world. We just don't know. Uh, it's possible. Uh, anyway, moving on to the most recent uh, poll that I did, I, uh, question. For the episode, UFO bill is the most important legislation ever created. I ask this question. Do you consider the proposed U.S. defense spending bill to be an admission by Congress that there is an extraterrestrial presence? 38 votes so far with uh, 26 days left. Seven people, or 18.4%, say no, while 31 people, or 81.6%, say yes. I definitely agree with the uh, yeses on this thing, because I think there's no question in my mind they never would have put a bill like this together if they hadn't seen things that have, have convinced them to a, to, a, to a high degree of certainty that uh, there, there is a cover-up uh, and that there is an extraterrestrial presence here, or at least a non-human intelligence presence. I guess it's hard for them to say where these things come from. Uh, definitively of course as everyone knows i believe that these things are coming from other planets so that's where i stand on all of this so yes um i just want to comment one more time on this argentina story i think that uh, uh, uh we need more time on this one i i think we need to uh wait and wait, wait to see what this U ufo group uh determines see if they can come up with more information maybe some more videos i mean there there was some really bad videos of lights in the sky that uh i really don't i can't make anything out of it one of them was supposed to be a helicopter uh there was another one that looked like there was two stair stationary lights in the sky but there was real quick we need better than that um 
who knows how they handle things in Argentina? Is well, maybe one of the people, one of the military personnel may, that was there the day were able, were they able to capture anything with a cell phone camera, maybe, and maybe something like from from one of the personnel could be leaked to the, to this uh, UFO investigative uh, team out there. Maybe we'll see. I hope uh, we need more evidence. We need to hear from more residents, that, and of course, the, those ufologists are planning on talking with more residents. Uh, maybe there'll be more cell phone footage that they could get together. Uh, but I think it's a very interesting story and it's something to definitely keep an eye on. Of course, you can never, ever trust uh, the military. Uh, I know this. Uh, you can't trust the Pentagon. Here in the United States, when it comes to UFOs, you never, ever, ever trust the Pentagon. When they're talking to you about UFOs, you can't trust them. Uh, that's how it's been for a long time now. They just I, I don't believe one word they say half the time. I think it's mostly most of the times they 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 for roswell they definitely there's no question in my mind that they lied completely about that they made up uh horse crap stories that uh and, and in addition to other things when you look at that washington dc case from 1952 that you know it was ufos from who knows if they weren't operated by they weren't chinese and and russian back then for sure right we know that uh, nobody had technology uh any anywhere close to something like that uh, they couldn't have been drones. We didn't have drones like uh, anything like that back then. They weren't balloons, and it was most certainly not atmospheric phenomena. There were jet fighters that went chasing after them, and uh, and they were able. These objects would pull away from them, and it was captured on radar. So we know uh, militaries like our in heart right here in our country they lie all the time and i'm i i i, I have no question that if this was some uh invasion uh in of argentine military space by ufos from another world right extraterrestrials they're not going to tell the truth about it there either uh i'm sure that they have the same sort of directives uh in argentina as they do here in, in the united states but i guess we'll find out as time goes on anyway i want to say thank you for joining me until next time